So I remember one of my uh, probably best tutors I ever had in painting was that, you know, I worked on this painting for like three months, kept trying, kept trying, kept trying to improve. And eventually I got to a point where it was like, I was quite proud of it because it looked like a typical painting and like the stuff you see otherwise on the wall. And so I was quite happy about myself. And he said, okay, so now destroy it. So I said, what do you mean? Like, just take some color and just go over it. Just break through. Go beyond that point because that point doesn't matter. It's a painting. So you stop at an interesting point. But as an artist, your life is about the process. That taught me so much more than any other, you know, later here, you know, working in advertising or ever winning awards and all this stuff. And you go, okay. When you then talk to leaders, how do you how do you help them rephrase targets, rephrase purpose, rephrase to say, look, there's a long game here, which might be about maybe about maintaining an organization for 20, 30 years, taking care of the people who work in the organization. And if you keep that all alive enough, that's a success. That's a heritage you bring along. That is great. That's something maybe valuable. Yeah, um, there, there's a lovely piece of research that you remind me of, um, written about organisations that have been around for over 100 years, the centennials, and, you know, like NASA um, was one of the examples. And, yeah. um, you know, they, they looked at what was it that enabled them to have such longevity. And it was because their aims were always about being better, not bigger. Why do people need your organization? And why will they still need it in 10 years' time? Why might they still need it in 50 years' time? Do we have to start thinking? And of course, we, you know, we, we don't know, but by asking that question and starting to think about it in a different perspective, then again, you know, we, we imagine different possibilities. That broadens out our thinking from just the next quarter. I think the other thing then is to um, in, is to think about the learning. So if I think of the three C's of the long win, it, you know, it is working through that clarity of purpose, the clarity of broader success criteria, then this constant learning piece, because, you know, in, in order to stay relevant, to stay offering value to customers, then we need to keep thinking, well, how do we adapt? How do we create the value that we need now, you know, in, in a world with completely different technology in 10 years time, 20 years time? Um, and so that sense of how can we keep learning and learning it needs to be in itself a measure of success. So not just what did you achieve, but what did you learn by achieving it? Because it's the learning that goes into the next achievement. So again, if we want to continue hitting the results, we need to invest in that learning piece. What else do we need to be doing whilst we are churning out whatever we're doing at the moment that will enable us to adapt and be ready to, to shift as, as society or as the marketplace shifts around us? So having learning as an aim in itself, not an add-on, it's absolutely vital. And we need to be measuring and exploring how we learn, 